providing uh, excellent services within the public sector is quite a simple one, it's quite a straightforward one. Um, in my view, the difficulty arises uh, in government uh, being required to adhere to that simple formula. Um, I think that's the most difficult part. Uh, for me, there are two ways around it. There's one side of the equation which is largely about the cost, the policies, the staffing, the systems, everything that is required to uh, deliver public services, good public services. And then on the other hand, uh, the resources you need to raise to deliver those uh, uh, public services. And if we can't do that internally, then we can add borrowing to that equation. So those are the two sides of that equation. Our public, and it's not only the Ghana public, would always require public services to be of the highest quality, uh, of the best convenience, to be cheap and to be easily accessible. And the way most governments have tried to keep that equation balanced over the years is to as much as possible either cut down on the cost of delivering public services, which we don't do much here, um, but also to increase the, the way we've raised financing either domestically um, or internationally. However, when you are in an environment such as ours, where it is characterized by increasing debts, uh, a high cost of delivering public services, um, and huge borrowings and uh, inefficiencies, then the focus for trying to balance that equation does shift. And it has to be about efficiency at all levels in the short term and about effectiveness in the long term. Only then can we start to talk about what we usually call value for money. Now I'm going to say a few things uh, subsequent to this. Um, and I want to start by saying that getting more out of every city spent getting more out of every city spent, for me, is the definition of efficiency that has to be adopted by our public sectors across board. 